The average American household spends $60,000 per year, which is about $1,153 US dollars per week. So this week, I want to attempt to live off only 20 US dollars as a digital nomad. There are only three rules for this week. Number one, I can only spend $20. Number two is I can't use food that I bought before the challenge because then I could just buy everything before the week and then it would be kind of pointless. Number three is I want to make having fun a priority this week because I think it's a common misconception that you have to spend a lot of money to have fun, especially when you're traveling. So I want to show you kind of fun things that you can do even if you're on an extremely tight budget first things first we need food i wonder what the cheapest food is it looks like the cheapest would be rice but i also need protein so let's go to the market this is what i'm going to eat for the next week lentils broccoli after cooking i ate i worked i did my nails at home which was free and then i worked a little bit more I don't know if you can tell by my eyes, but I'm tired. So let's go hop in the hot tub and read free, not spending money. I paid my gym membership for three months up front, so I'm not going to include it. But in case you're curious, I paid 90 euros for three months. After the gym, I showered, worked, I cooked, I ate. I've been working for a little while. I did say this week we're going to try to have fun, but obviously no budget to pay for anything. So I think today what I want to do is just go and explore. The way Vlora is set up is there's one side that is basically the city center and everything is there. And then on the other side, just the touristy area, there are a lot of villas there, restaurants and everything like that, uh, beach clubs. And then I'm living basically in between the two. So I go over to the city center every single day to go to the gym. I go there at least once a week to go to the market. Any kind of thing I need to do, it's usually going to the city center. So I've gone there a lot, but my curiosity has grown and grown and grown to go see what's on the other side. It's just the touristy area, but right now it's winter in a beach town, so the touristy area is probably pretty dead. But regardless, my curiosity has been growing and growing. So today we're going to head over there and explore and see what's going on over there. There are basketball courts here. What a beautiful place to play. There's this basketball court, and then there's a tennis court, and behind a tennis court, another basketball court. And behind all that, there's a football field over here as well. This is really nice, right by the beach. going by here so I'm going to head back for a couple reasons number one is I've been walking on the road this whole time and it's a very narrow road as you've probably seen in videos so it's not exactly safe it's fine right now during the day but it's getting curvier and curvier so cars can't see me coming and it's not not the safest plus it's going to get dark in less than two hours and I'm pretty far away so I have to get back When I got home, I did a little bit of work outside. There was a beautiful sunset. I had dinner at home, free lentils, of course, and I hopped in the hot tub. I started day three with a leg workout in the gym, and for lunch, I had my usual lentils and broccoli. Today's Friday, it's a beautiful day, so I wanna go out and do something fun. Looking online, I was able to find some castle ruins. Beautiful view from there, so let's go. These castle ruins are pretty far away, about two hour walk away, and it's up a mountain, I think, so ideally you have transportation for this, but obviously we don't have a transportation budget, so we have uh, quite the walk ahead of us. I did see on reviews that people had issues with dogs, angry dogs, and I can definitely see how that could be an issue because all of this looks quite residential, so people have their dogs out and the dogs get defensive and whatnot, so I'm a bit scared because the dogs here in the Balkans are scary, but hopefully no issues. We're not even there yet, but what a view. 
We still aren't there, but magnificent view from here. Only one can save Jesus is his name. Christ alone. Believe it or not, still not there, but wow, the view just keeps getting better and better. I'm pretty sure I'm currently walking on a highway, so <laughs> that's lovely. Even though this is kind of unsafe, I'm still kind of glad that I'm walking just because I feel like you get to appreciate the view in a different way and stop and just see more. Well, good thing is there aren't too many cars right now, so it's not so bad, but yeah, I'm straight up <laughs> on this road. Three hundred luck to get in, but no one's here, so we're headed in. This is good because I don't think we have much of the twenty dollars left. <laughs> we're headed back now. I'm tired. Not gonna lie, I cannot believe that I came up this high. I'm literally walking on the highway by the way, but anyway, I can't believe that I came up this high just by foot. It's kind of crazy. Down inside of the city, I always look up at these mountains and just think that they're so high up, so it's crazy that I'm up here. I thought for sure you'd need a car to get here. Would be nice with a car. You know what else would be nice? This view at sunset because the sunsets here in Flora are always beautiful but we can't stay here for that because these roads that I came up on I don't think they're let I don't think they're lit at all so that obviously wouldn't be safe considering I'm literally walking on the road as a pedestrian so we're headed back now so that we make it back by sundown but yeah this is truly beautiful I don't know if you can see them but these guys these guys right here are running up <laughs> we're running up and we're still all the way up here so I'm gonna stop complaining about how my feet hurt and how I'm tired because that is insane. It is too bad that it's a bit of a hazy day because on a nicer day you'd see a more blue sky, more blue water but hey, can't control the weather so it is what it is. When I got home I had my free dinner, hopped in the hot tub until bedtime. Today's Saturday, which is my laundry day. Luckily, this villa has a washing machine, so it's not gonna cost me anything to do laundry today. I was pretty tired, so I took today as more of a laundry, cleaning, home day. I did go for a little walk later in the day, but I didn't really do too much because I need to save energy and money for what's coming tomorrow. It's Sunday, so the gym is closed, and I want to do something a little bit fun today. Since I'm not going to work out today, it'd be perfect if this fun little activity is both, number one, inexpensive, ideally free, and number two, a little bit active so we can get some exercise in. So I found this monastery and the walkway to the island looks cool. I'll, I'll put up a better picture on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Only thing is, it is pretty far away. It would be more than three hours to walk there. Obviously, we don't have transportation budget to get like a bike or a, a motorcycle. From what I see, the bus is here. The public transportation is very unorganized. But I do think that we could get within seven kilometers of the monastery and then from there just walk. Still, the bus is going to be complicated because they're not super regular, so on the way there, I'm going to try to go by bus. If it ends up taking longer than three hours by bus, I'll just walk on the way back. It's not a big deal since, again, I do want a more active day because I'm not going to the gym. It'll be fine if I have to walk. We're leaving at 9.09. .09. Let's see what time we get there. Arriving at the bus stop at 9.17. From the very little bit of information I was able to find online, this bus comes at the 40th minute of every hour, 
and it's 9.32 right now, so if that's the case, I'm very lucky because I'm not going to have to wait too long for this hourly bus. I'm assuming this is a transfer ticket, so I'm going to try to use it on this bus, but <laughs> maybe it's not a transfer. I arrived at Technoplastic, which is the end of the this bus route, I guess, the closest I can get to the monastery. I arrived there at 9.48. So not bad so far, I'm still 7 kilometers from the monastery and this road here is all just for cars, there isn't really a sidewalk so this will be a fun hour and a half walk <laughs> on the side of the road Turns out that little ticket they gave me is not a transfer ticket so that was a little bit embarrassing <laughs> I forgot to mention this but when I was looking at this monastery I saw some reviews that said that if you're lucky you might see some flamingos so i'm really really excited because i haven't seen flamingos in a really long time and yeah it'd be cool so fingers crossed it does say that there are flamingos so i'm really hopeful that we get to see those i'm kind of scared to jinx it but i've been walking around this forest area for how long now about half an hour and i haven't encountered any issues with bugs mosquitoes anything like that because that's usually what i don't like about walking amongst the forest because from a very young age, mosquitoes have always loved me and I get very frustrated on forest walks because of that. <laughs> maybe it's just because it's March, so that's why maybe in the, in the hotter months the mosquitoes come out. But yeah, it's actually been a very pleasant walk. This car stopped on the side of the road for me. I think that has to be uh, a big fear for a lot of women when you're walking on a lonely path and a car just stops there for you. Anyway, he was speaking to me in Albanian, so I didn't even understand what he's saying, but I think he was offering me a ride going to the, to the island, which is very kind of him, and I'm sure he meant well, but, you know, as women, we have, to, <laughs> we have to be safe. We can't just get into a random man's car. I don't think I'm too far away. I'm starting to see what looks like life. I'm assuming Monastir is monastery, so we're gonna keep heading that way. I'm taking this other little side path here before I head to the monastery. I was looking at the two signs and translating them and this guy stopped. <laughs> he was trying to convince me that he will take me over here to this side to see the monastery from a different angle and then he'll take me to the monastery, blah, blah, blah. But I just told him that I'm enjoying the walk. Unfortunately, we're a little bit far. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there are flamingos right over there. I can barely see them. And then over here there are just ducks. This is a nice little area though. I really like this little town. It feels like a little town. I don't know if it's considered part of Laura, but I like it. It just feels so calm. I have gone completely off track now I'm exploring this little town. But I'm glad that I did come this way because I wouldn't have seen all of this. Really beautiful views. Okay, so that right there is the monastery. I am so glad I came this way because this is such a beautiful view. Like, you don't want to only go to the monastery, you also want to see how beautiful it looks from here. It's gorgeous. So now you guys know, when you come here, don't only go to the monastery. I'm sure it's very beautiful, we'll go there soon. But you have to go the opposite direction. So you're going to see a sign where it says left, go to monastery and write something that you probably can't read unless you can read Albanian. Then you're going to take the right path. Trust me, it's worth the extra bit of time it takes to get up this little hill. And you get these gorgeous, gorgeous views. I'm kind of scared to walk behind these horses because I don't want them to kick me. Okay, it knows I'm here, so it doesn't have to be startled. Please don't kick me. Let me go up here so that I'm far enough away that it can't kick me. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to get from here straight to the monastery rather than having to go all the way back through the little town back to that part where back to the where there was a fork in the road I think if I just take one of these paths here we'll be able to get there to the monastery so we'll see I don't know if you can tell but the monastery is on an island so there's a bit of a walkway so basically I have to get to the start of that walkway and I think I can do it through this little town if I just go down one of these paths. <laughs> we'll figure out which one. The birds literally perch on top of the sheep. I've never seen that before. Alright, so there we see the monastery and then that right there is the bridge to get from here 
to the island. So I'm back to this fork in the road. As I said, best way to do this is don't go where it says monastery, go right through the little town and you'll be able to make a loop all the way around and then come back on this road. We are 20 minutes away from Technoplastic and it is the 35th minute of the hour. I don't know if it's true that the bus only comes once every hour, but I'm gonna run or jog there just in case it is true because I don't really want to wait an extra hour if I just miss it because that's gonna suck. Third car to stop for me. People are very insistent today. Anyway, I think running should be a normal mode of transportation, like walking. I don't know why people don't just run. Like if you're walking but you're running late, you can just run there. All right, so I made it to the bus stop on time. That last guy was the only one that was a bit weird from the day. He circled back three more times. He asked me six times to get in his car. And then he drove ahead, parked, got out of the car. And at that point I, I talked to him because he had fully gotten out of the car and was like in my way. Thankfully it's still light out, so it's fine. But he was trying to convince me to get in the car, trying to tell me that the bus isn't coming for another 20 minutes. It's coming in five. And then trying to, he was just like, I just want to talk to you, whatever, whatever, trying to get my number. And he was just insistent, like it, it was um, pushy and he just kept circling back, which was creepy and then like slowing the car down and it's really obvious that he's there waiting. Anyway, I'm really glad that it's the middle of the day, so nothing bad can happen. As predicted, safely back on the bus. It was not 20 minutes, it was a few minutes. So yeah, we're all good. It is 1.50. I wasn't hungry for breakfast, but I'm definitely getting hungry for lunch now. From the center of the city where this bus is gonna drop me off, I might walk home. It really depends. I think I might walk, honestly. It's not even because of saving the 40 cents, because we have the budget for the 40 cents. <laughs> it just depends, I don't feel tired. I mean, I just ran about two kilometers and I'm not even out of breath, I was fine. So I feel like I could do the walk. I don't want to walk from here. The thing is, from the center of the city to home, it's a really fun walk. There are a lot of people around, restaurants, music. Like, it's just a nice environment. Here, it's just in the middle of nowhere, which is why I'm taking the bus. All right, so I'm in the city center now, and I'm just going to walk home. There's a bus from here, but we're not in any rush, so I'm just going to enjoy the nice walk. It's a really beautiful view from here, so anytime I have the chance, I walk. I am glad to be home. I left this water here. I literally took it out of the fridge this morning to take it with me so that I would have water with me. I wouldn't have to buy water anywhere so we wouldn't cut into our very limited fund for the week. And I left it, so, geez. That was much needed water. Immediately when I drank that water, I just started to feel sweat. I feel like I couldn't even sweat until I had that water. <laughs> anyway, feeling good. I'm going to obviously put some clothes on, just less because the sweater is too much at this point. And I'm going to cook because I'm pretty fasted and I'm pretty hungry. <sighs> Food time. My broccoli is prepared, very excited to eat. I'm going to watch an episode of the Law & Order Toronto series that came out recently. It's good, I like it so far. So a new season, or sorry, not a new season, a new episode came out two days ago. So I'm excited to watch it now. After eating, I did a little bit of work. I read in the hot tub before bed and that was it for day five. I was pretty tired the next day, so I didn't do too much, and I didn't spend anything at all, so it wasn't too eventful of a day. It's our last morning, just woken up, and it's raining outside. You can't see it really well on... Actually, you kind of can see it. So I'm not headed to the gym yet. I think I'm gonna take a shower right now, and then work. We'll head to the gym later all right so it is now past three in the afternoon and now we're going to head to the gym i had to wait a while because it was raining all morning I'll show you now still looks pretty gloomy 
but not raining anymore so we can head to the gym i pretty much never go at this time so i'm not sure how busy it's going to be i'll try to film a little bit in there but if it's really packed then obviously i, I don't want to interfere with other people i don't want to interfere with other people's workouts so let's head out to the gym now by the way obviously i already ate now i've just been working i just got on with my day basically because i knew i wasn't going to be able to work out in the morning um, but yeah let's go been pumping out pheromones and wearing red young jerry lollery king with the knife didn't really film in the gym because it was a lot more busy than usual but look at this nice sunset i don't know if you can see nice sunset we've got going on tonight going to hop in the shower and we'll talk in a second so this week I managed to survive off 1700 lek, which is at the time of filming this video just under 18 US dollars. Obviously there are things that weren't included in this video like my rent, which is 550 US dollars per month approximately. So that would put my total weekly expenditure I think around $150. Also there are things that I used this week that I didn't include or I didn't repurchase like I don't know shampoo, conditioner, soap, things like that. But I think at the end of the day this video still showed that it is possible to be a digital nomad on a budget and still have a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave it a like. Next Sunday I'm putting out a video where I'm going to explain how to be a digital nomad on a budget including housing, flights and everything like that and I'll see you next Sunday.